Cajun Crate. someone that has moved out of the state of Louisiana. All right, now, wouldn't you love to send them some Rev coffee, some Cajun power sauce, or some Cajun cane kettle corn? Yeah. Well, that's what we do. This is Cajun Crate. Cajun Crate is a monthly Louisiana subscription box for Cajuns and foodies across the U.S. Our boxes revolve around a new theme every month, like Mardi Gras, grilling, and last month, we sent out a brunch box. Our boxes come complete with guides that include recipes, where the product came from, and brand history. Quickly after starting Cajun Crate, we realized that we weren't just addressing the needs of Cajuns abroad, but the competition in your local grocery store is fierce, and the market here is saturated with Cajun products. We made it our mission to bring exposure to all of these local brands. When is the last time you've had bacon barbecue sauce, garlic pepper jelly, smoked cane syrup? <laughs> Well, these are just a few of the products that you will experience through our subscription box. We work with big name brands and small batch artisans that are all looking for brand exposure. To date, we have made over 70 brand partners and have featured over 100 different products through our subscription box. We have shipped over 2,500 Cajun crates across the U.S. and to military mail. 13 weeks ago, I was pitching Cajun Crate, and since being in an accelerator, I've realized what we do well is fulfillment and marketing. So we're taking what we've learned, and we're helping our brand partners so they can do what they do well, which is making great Cajun products. So we're going to help them with fulfillment and marketing with our own fulfillment solution. We are seeking a $50,000 uh, $50, investment with a $50,000 line of credit for 10% share in our company. With this investment, we will be able to grow our subscription business, grow our fulfillment solution, and of course, help the growth of other Louisiana businesses through our success. Thank you. Great Hi. job, by the way. Thank you so much. <laughs> really interesting. Uh, so my question is, so you, I want to make sure that I'm clear. Did you switch from actually holding the product mm -hmm. and shipping it, and you're saying that you're going to now encourage the suppliers to provide the product, and you'll just handle the uh, fulfillment? Okay, so I have Cajun Crate, which we're our subscription box, and I also, uh, through my website, CajunCrate.co, we... Uh, send all of our products a la carte. So we have a subscription box, you can subscribe monthly, and that's where you discover great Cajun products. You can come back online and buy it a la carte. We're also finding that all the uh, vendors that we're working with have the same need of marketing and fulfillment. They're not good at e-commerce and shipping. So we're already in that game. So we're gonna help them not only through our website, through their own website. And what we'll do is their orders are gonna come through us, um, and we'll fulfill those orders through their own website, and we're going to be behind the scenes, just taking a small profit share of that, but then that way they can really focus on making their product and not worrying about fulfillment and shipping and all that kind of stuff that eats up all their time. So you won't actually take in the inventory. You're going to, you're going to access it as it's ordered? Yes, I'm going to access it as it's ordered. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what channels uh, you obtain customers through and what kind of growth 
project or you're on? Um, so we started out with Kickstarter and basically at the beginning stages I was reaching out to all these Cajun brands that I knew, basically sourcing throughout the area. Uh, since we've grown as a brand, people are coming to us and they're seeking us out. So they're now getting in the box, they're reaching out to us and I'm making new brand relationships. Uh, we have a really low, uh, under 10% churn rate in our subscription box service. Our repeat business is 60% uh, of our customers come back and, and buy uh, repetitively. Um, that's either month after month or they'll come back and buy a la carte. Um, and basically, we're just also trying to get them either through our website or if they go direct to that website just to buy from them. Eventually, they're going to be coming through us as well. You still good on time? Uh, love the business. Love the business model. Understand the appeal of, uh, of Cajun around the country. It seems, it seems like it's a fairly narrow niche. Uh, I like the fact that you've tweaked your model a little bit to incorporate some, some fulfillment. Uh, how will you be able to significantly ramp up your, so your 2,500 2, packages to date, congrats on that. How do you ramp, how do you significantly ramp that up? So it's 2,500 uh, subscription boxes actually. So that's just the subscription box. I've actually surpassed that mark uh, this uh, quarter actually by double. We've actually sent out 2,500 Cajun crates to date and also 2,500 a la carte packages. So our um, just online Cajun store repeat business is getting much bigger. I want to focus a lot more on marketing so that way we can grow that subscription box number though from 250 active subscribers to 1,000 active subscribers. So that way our repeat business grows obviously. But then also we want to share in that uh, revenue stream of uh, getting direct sales from all of our brand partners that we're partnering with. We're going to be handling their back end eventually, so we're going to get a little piece of everything. Tell us a little bit about your gross profit margin, and are you making any money? I am making money right now. So um, I am actually able to uh, pay myself, and we're already profitable. Uh, but right now, our uh, profit margins on the Cajun crate, uh, depending on the month, is anywhere from 20 to 30 percent. But on our a la carte business, it's anywhere from 50 to 70 percent on our repeat individual business. <laughs> the more Cajun crates we sell, though, obviously, the, the better margins we do. 